for consideration. That right there is Adelicia Wambui from African Asaha Productions, followed by Prudence Tendo as well from that institution. Remember that children are at home right now for the long holiday. Just what exactly does it mean? How do we take care of, the children, of our children as they are home? And this right here is Teresa Atieno. Uh, she does her thing. These are models from the Africa Nasaha production. How do we nurture talents in this ecosystem as we speak right now? Pretty much this is a time for the country when children are at home that we are supposed to take care of them and show exactly how we are supposed to do it. Those are models. I'm talking about Adelicia with the beautiful girl with the red dress. And we have Prudence Tendwa as well who followed, uh, who followed Adelicia and also Teresa Atieno models from the Africa Nasaha Productions. Today we want to talk about issues to do with how to nurture our talents during this long holiday. Remember conversations on how to take care of our children has been a tipping point, a big debate on how parents should play their role. But now on set again, I have Shane Butaki. She is also here to give us a poem. She is a poet in Swahili on Asema Walenga Wakizazi Kipia. Prudence, uh, Shane, rather, to you now. Hi, my name is Shane, and I have a poem. Corruption is such a mystery. It brings a lot of misery, pain, and cruelty. It's as if the world has become a sanctuary for slavery. We've become slaves of our own minds and bodies, not forgetting our master technology. The thirst for power and wealth has become a disease, making our minds corrupt and our bodies weak. Our corrupt minds have run drug, always making up schemes to kill and steal, even from the innocent who have nothing but a beat. The thirst for power and wealth has become a disease, making our bodies weak. Our hands can easily grab, and our minds and our eyes are always so keen for any signs of weaknesses and an opportunity to steal. Technology's purpose is to bring us comfort, making life easier by a touch of a button. Entertaining us from random videos, sharing with us inside knowledge, but how the tables have turned. Our master, our servant, has now become our master. It's made corruption a normal thing, and now everybody wants to practice it. Uh, it's as if our hands each and our legs work to practice this evil thing. Why can't we just work hard for our own money, sweat for our own land? Either the fruits of our labor and not under the months. Thank you. That is Shane Butake. She is um, a poet and talking about corruption. Why is it that us as a republic, us as Kenyans cannot just work hard for our own money? Why is it that we think of getting on that vibe that is corruption? The big question that Shane Butake is asking today and this is all about nurturing talents in the country. Remember that children are at home. It is the long holiday. As a parent, what are you doing? But most importantly, as a country, what exactly are we doing? But now let's take a short commercial break. When we come back, we have a discussion on the same and I will be having that discussion with Cynthia Nzoma a little bit later. But then again, there's a ballerina in house. We shall be bringing you that after this break. KTN News. Get the whole story. The Club Kiboko Festival is getting better with each edition, bringing you more fun and entertainment. This November 18th, 2023, all roads will lead to the Ulinzi Sports Complex Langata for a fun day full of games, entertainment, competitions, and lots and lots of giveaways. This holiday season, join us as we make new memories with friends and family. And who knows, you might even be a winner of the many prizes including scholarships, holidays, gift hampers and much more. 
What are you waiting for? Book your ticket now on Ticketsasa.com for just 500 bob for kids and 300 for adults. For more information, contact Joanne on 0708 or email jnyambura at standardmedia.co.ke The Club Kiboko Festival. Miss it, miss out. Kwa miaka mingi, tumekuwa tegemeo kwa nchi nzima kwa habari za kwa Amerika. Matukio katika nyanja zote za maisha. Siasa. Pinyinyi ndio mulipika kura. Sisi tetaka amani. Usalama. Ndakuwa tayari kutoka saa sita ya uzi. Makamani. Miche zoni. A world record. Nona imekuwa ni punishment. Kwa wakati ufao. Na ndiyo maana tunajiboresha hata zaidi. Kwamba sasa KTN leo itakuwa ikikujia kwa matao ya juu. Sisi NDC. of Toulouse, got a handy enough win here. was done by our forefathers what we are doing now as we seek to progress economically and socially has had an impact but we bury our heads in the sun we are living in a threatened climate that is now fighting back we are losing not just the battle but the entire war against Mother Nature. Fortunately, KTN News is taking the bold step to speak it and do it. KTN News. Get the whole story. Good morning and welcome back to News Center. You are watching KTN News and yes indeed children are at home for the long holidays. How do we take care of them as parents, as guardians, as adults in the room? How do we make sure that our children are kept busy at home? And that is why in studio with me I have Cynthia Nzomo, Communication Strategist, African Asahar Production, as we have this discussion. Good morning, Cynthia. How are you doing? Good morning. Yes. Doing good. Now, um, it is a question of children are at home yes. now and they are in for a very long time. Very as sure. parents, how do we take care of them? What are some of the activities that we can engage them as they are at home with us? You know, uh, this holiday season is, uh, as you've said, it's actually too long, two months and uh, and uh, so the parents tend will tend to have uh, the kids keep uh, keep their kids busy for the longest time possible two months by just having them indulge in the activities that they love do not force them to do anything that they don't want to mm -hmm. make them do what they love so as a parent now how do we have this conversation with our children to know what they love because most of the time as parents We've paid school fees, yes. you go to school, you're supposed yeah. to pass exam. Yeah. But when mm. it comes to conversation, especially in the African culture, yeah. on identifying talents that our children have, mm -hmm. it becomes uh, an area that parents don't get into. So how would you advise parents to get into that space to knowing what their children love doing? 
what has your kid been nagging you about? That's the most thing. What does your kid do around in the house mostly? What does the kid, when uh, he or she is outside there, do more, uh, frequently with his friends when they're interacting? Those are the kids uh, things that your kids love. If your kids love uh, sitting in the house, maybe watching movies, uh, maybe dancing to different tunes, uh, going out, playing football, that is what he likes. If your kids love dancing along, dancing is his thing. Just go get some dancing classes for that kid. Go get some uh, football classes, uh, co coaching for that kid. That is what that kid uh, loves most. And you see, as we speak right now, now um, the KCPE that has just concluded is yeah. the last class for KCPE um, yeah. in primary school. That is the 844 that is being phased out. Yeah. But now we have the CBC. Yeah. How important is it for, how important and for the CBC to be introduced mm -hmm. for parents, for teachers, mm -hmm. for the society at large to just know and identify these talents at an early time? The CBC is coming in handy because uh, not all students are talented uh, in books. Mm -hmm. You know, we have an average student who does exemplary, uh, exemplary well in uh, sports in, or in something else. That is where they go. That is where the CBC is coming in and we are very thankful to the government for incorporating it in our systems now. At least it doesn't have to be books and books and books and books all, all along. We will do the extracurricular activities and the kid is going to indulge in and she's going to, he or she is going to be comfortable and even uh, perform better. Now, at Nasaha, you have a wide array of talents. I know you have a DJ. He is in the house, just that he couldn't do his ones and twos. Yeah, we yeah. also have a, a poet that we had earlier, yeah. and also the models. So how did you come about to having these uh, specific areas mm -hmm. that you are working on or that you are addressing and handling? Mm -hmm. African Star Production One is a production that has been in existence for over 16 years, dealing with star, uh, talent nurturing uh, in different areas. So we've incorporated from music, dance, drawing, art calligraphy, modeling, uh, uh, sports, that is uh, swimming, uh, the different uh, kinds of sports, music and uh, acting. Uh, what else is there? We have quite a wide vari variety of uh, talents that we deal with. What we do mainly is just get to visit the different areas, tap the talents from the different areas, bringing them for our talent training and try and give them as much exposure as they need. And uh, a little bit earlier, there was a conversation that I had that there is a, a group of your students that have been going to Turkey. Yes. So what is this Turkey business about and why are they going to Turkey? Uh, we have a VIP event in Turkey that will be happening from the 6th uh, to 11th at uh, Antalya. And uh, I have a group of uh, around uh, 10 students that will be proceeding there. Uh, apart from uh, Turkey, they are going to be representing the country. Apart from that, I have a different pageant in Dar es Salaam for the Mr. and Miss Essence for the adults and the kids category that will be taking place from uh, the 19th of December at uh, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Then uh, we have also a model like uh, Prudence Tendor, the model that we just saw. She'll be heading to, to Thailand, Bangkok, to in a pageant to represent Kenya for the Miss Heritage. Mm -hmm. So we take the different students to the different uh, pageants to have exposure. And uh, some of them are even... Uh, to contest in these pigeons and they end up winning different awards. Now, Cynthia, I think I, I want to ask you the most difficult question there is. Okay. As a, as, as a talent manager, mm -hmm. um, how do you have this conversation with parents and convince them that I can take care of your child, mm -hmm. expose them to training, mm -hmm. and be able to even take them internationally? How do you come to say parent aseto and mm -hmm. convince me that this is doable, especially for parents who only know the only thing there is is books, 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 books <laughs> and books. Okay, yeah, it's a very tough conversation. And one, it being that you go to school, we've not met the parent, contact them even without maybe, have, tell them to bring in the kids for the training without having met them. It's quite difficult. But I don't know what happens, but if a parent has a positive uh, vibe towards the kids, believes in the kids that the kid can do something better, the parent will be very easy to talk to. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so we just try our best. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, all about good vibes and good not vibes. inshallah. So it's just exactly. good vibes, good live vibes. love and laugh. Yes. And in this, now it's a question where you have the students with yep. you, you're taking them through, uh, through this entire training and accumulation into your system. Yep. How do you manage to balance uh, handling their talent? 
mm -hmm. and their school. One, we always keep track of uh, their school records. We go back to the schools to ensure that uh, the kid performs well. And uh, one, if we notice that your grades are going down, one, you have to first of all take a break from the program and uh, watch your class. And why do you take that approach in terms of um, uh, why, why is it important to tie in the talents and, uh, and education performing well? How is that important? Because even for athletes who want yep. to go to the U.S. after mm -hmm. high school, mm -hmm. uh, performance, performing well in education is a key subject. Very crucial, why, yes. why is that important? It is because uh, if you won't have something on how to manage yourself uh, from uh, the skills that you're gaining from school, uh, you'll t your talent will totally not help you. Mm -hmm. So we uh, make sure that talent and your books go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now tell me about the ballerina aspect wow. uh, that you have. Now, it yeah. is a question of ballet. A lot of people only watch them in movies. <laughs> I can tell you for a fact, I have yeah. never attended any event yeah. and there has been a ballerina. <laughs> I just watch it on telly. So yeah. now as in your institution, why is it important to introduce uh, this new aspect of ballerina into, into the talent management as well? It is because we are trying to incorporate each and every talent of each and every other kid. Because mm -hmm. you know this kids are talented differently that is why we have ballerina we have skating we have different uh, maybe taekwondo the different uh, skilling uh, games that is why we incorporate them it is mm -hmm. we want to reach to each and every child mm -hmm. so Adelicia Ombo is a five-year-old and uh, she'll be making an appearance at the Turkey VIP mm -hmm. event from uh, the 6th at Antalya she'll be opening the performance by doing a ballerina thing and of course uh, at the end she'll be doing the modeling thing as uh, she's showcased when uh, she started mm -hmm. so uh she's someone who's charming and uh come she's still someone who's charming and uh loves doing what she loves and at least uh, she gets to showcase she gets to explore everything that she does each and every time she's an open person mm -hmm. yes so Adelicia shows um, how you dance to ballet oh, I just forgot to mention that uh, mm -hmm. she's uh, she won uh, the best at ballerina in her school mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, yes, Adelina uh, Womboi, five year old, she is charming, a ballerina. She is not only a ballerina, but a winner at that. And also a model who will be heading to Turkey as well. And uh, yes, that is Adelina. As we continue to have this discussion on, uh, on, on issues to do with managing talents, if you've never been next to a ballerina as a setter, I'm happy because for once she's just a few meters away from me. And yes, that is just some of the things that are being done um, to at uh, African Sahara Productions as we continue to have this discussion. Thank you very much, uh, Adelina, so and all the best as you yeah. continue to proceed with your activities. And yes, Cynthia, um, I mean, when we talk about ballerina, are parents also getting on board with that? Yes, they are. They are definitely uh, uh, getting uh, involved in uh, the different games. Ballerina, yes, because if you see the different parents who are interested uh, after they see her, us posting about maybe Adelicia and the other kids who are doing, they, the contact that 